Hi, this is The Poopy Show, PhD, PNG, unlicensed psychologist, prophet and total babe magnet. Covid every now and then. Here to talk about him. Pathetic, incomplete, felt creature. That featured in my last video. Three people expressed their feelings towards him in the comment section and today's video is about why some of you had those feelings upon witnessing this stunted noodle being. The image itself is from a Japanese website. It's just a progress picture from a felting step-by-step -step guide. The final product should look something like this. But the thing is, this image I've seen a few times. This image I had to search for and to be honest, does not please me as much as the previous one. For some reason. How so, since one of them is obviously more complete and aesthetically convincing? Why him? We are all attracted to things that are cute and small, and turns out, if we didn't, we'd be dead. Conan Lawrence describes this as the baby schema. Features we find cute are all features that are found in infants. Now, I'm guilty of this, observe my figuring collection of shame. And I found this interesting because yeah, small things are cute, but I thought our obsession comes from the fact that they make us feel good about ourselves. You know, like you're so tiny and weak, I can easily crush you and that pleases me. Makes me feel cool and powerful. But no, turns out it's because of my overpowering motherly intuition. Humans have very strong nurturing instincts, most likely because our offspring is particularly helpless and weak. Most animals are fine to be on their own after less than half a year. Human babies still don't know where their body ends and other things start at six months old. We find things like this, this and this cute. Because they remind us of babies. And it brings us happiness. A programmed, survival-oriented type of happiness. Upon seeing a cute thing, there's a burst of activity in our orbitofrontal cortex, which is an area of the brain that involves reward. Psychologist Eloy Stark explains, this activity biases the brain towards processing the cute stimulus by making sure we give it our full attention. To approach the infant or cute animal, wanting to pick it up, look after it, love it, give it our bank details, but also so destroy it. Here's the thing with that by the way, the need to squeeze cute things or cute aggression is basically our brain trying to cope with the overwhelming oh my god oh my god oh my god look at it. In other words, to balance out these overpowering positive emotions the brain mixes in a little bit of aggression. Because if it was all just positive we would simply look at the thing all day and do nothing else. Which is bad for us, terrible for the baby. Clinical psychologist Catherine Stavropoulos summarizes her study on this by saying it is our brain making sure nothing is too cute to handle. Just because it's small with disproportionately big eyes doesn't mean it should control us. But here's the thing, looking more closely at my collection you'll see something all the figurines have in common. They're all kinda ugly. Hell, they look like they inherited the family mental illness and started hard drugs at 12. And I bought them like this. We can all agree that this is something that's cute. But I wanted to find out why do so many people see this? as cuter. The cuteness response to baby features is there but come on, this doesn't look right. It's not aesthetically pleasing and it has weird proportions and a profound lack of intellect and soul. I love it. I love it more than this. Hiroshi Itono, director of the Cognitive Psychology Laboratory at Lusaka University, says that when an animal seems off-putting at first, the viewer will actually find it interesting and want to approach and know it a little bit more. Which I kind of read as we're rooting for the underdog here, with fondness born out of pity. Natona agrees with this. Ugly animals give us a sense of whimsical cuteness. They give us a sense of joy. In short, Natona says, it's just funny. But honestly, it's more than just funny. Cute is cute and gets the baby response from our brain, but this engages us more, so we might end up liking it better. And I think that's beautiful. 